Okay, so you've got uh, a, a truth coming in for you uh, and me be about a person that you're dealing with right now because you've got jealousy card next to it and that is showing you somebody who is not um, what they appear to be so somebody who is uh, you know they're very jealous of you and they're saying things about you um, that are not true but the truth has been revealed to you you see them for what they are so there's a lot of generosity and abundance so that is how you're operating now you might have received some sort of windfall and you've been sort of handing out gifts if you like uh maybe lending people money maybe buying things for people so you've been um you know maybe you've been overspending too maybe you've been very over generous with yourself so just watch that as well but uh recently some sort of abundance coming in for you with that abundance card so in the past you've got uh diligence and strength so you've been working really really hard you can see this man is planning for gold in the heat because he's got the sun hat on in this river and you know very very difficult work and very very meticulous and painstaking work so you've been working very very hard and you know it may, might have been taking all your energy and you've been focusing all your energy on this work that you've been doing recently so a lot of strength maybe it's tiring you out as well so going into the future you've got that jealousy card coming out and justice so it looks like whoever has been giving you some grief um you've you know, they've been acting out of jealousy and maybe there's some legal situation that they have brought in. Maybe they brought the legal situation because they are so jealous of you. So um, dealing with some sort of legalities. But recently some sort of abundance has come in for you, which has made you quite a, um, generous uh, with your money. And, uh, you know, watch out for this person. Uh, whatever legal situation might be occurring right now, it's just based, it's been brought in by jealousy. So some sort of something brought in by this person and it's all because they are jealous of you. They pretended to be what they want or they're pretending to be what they want. But you will see the truth because you've got the, the truth card coming in, uh, the mirror card coming in. So it's showing you, it will show you who that person is. So that person will be revealed and know that it was all based on jealousy, nothing else. So I'm just, um, these are the energies for that week. Ooh, okay, you've got the justice card in again. So you've had a justice card in that deck and you've had a justice card in this deck as well. So you are facing some legal situation. So you may have to be appearing before a judge or somebody um, with the, whatever problem you're going through, you can see these two people out there and you're going to have to uh, present your case. And it involves money because you see a prince and a pauper here. So it's something to do with finance that you're going to be facing this person about, uh, maybe getting money, um, maybe getting a settlement, and you're going to have to present your case. This will be a fair judgment. Uh, it'll go your way if everything work you know if, if you keep everything honest and above board everything will go your way so you are involved in some sort of legal situation right now where you're appearing in court probably um and you know you're facing somebody who's probably um you know a, a much uh, stronger rival than you somebody who has much more influence uh they're better off than you are and maybe you want um a settlement from this person that you are going to court for so you can see this person is wearing the crown and this really nice uh, cloak. Whereas you, the person who is going to that case, is like almost in rags and bandages. So you've had incurred quite a big financial loss because of whatever the situation was, and now it's been got. It's take you're taking it to court in order to get whatever settlement uh, that is coming to you. So what is going on around you? You've got the Ace of Cups and you've got the Seven of Cups. So you're very confused about whatever is going on. You have ideas about what is ever, what is going on. You, there's lots of options that you have. But somebody around you is the snake who's causing the problems as well. So they're preventing you from getting this abundance. So maybe this person over here that you're taking to court is the snake that you're dealing with. So be careful of this person. And they're the one that um, that's preventing you from getting that abundance or that money that is coming to you. They're the ones that are causing problems. Uh, it looks like it will come to you, but just be careful. This person's got a very um, a snake tongue, if you like. So they're, um, they're very, very deceptive. Uh, and so watch out for this person. They're preventing you from getting or achieving your goals and dreams and visions that you have because they're preventing you from getting abundance. But you've got the Ace of Cups over here. So it looks like things are going to work out in your favor over here with this Ace of Cups. A new beginning of something that is really, really abundant because you can see there's five streams coming from this cup. So it's showing that, you know, a lot of abundance coming to you and, you know, you will get what your heart desires because the, the um, hand coming from the cloud is giving you a heart. It's not just giving you the cup, it's giving you a heart. So that means that 
you know, the universe is now going to give you what your heart desires. And it's going to bring you a lot of peace with this dove taking off. And whatever dreams and visions you are, are is going to take off. So you're going to get whatever that uh, legality is going to be. You're going to be the winner in it. And you're going to get what you so desire, what you want. So in the last year or so, you've got the heart heartbreak card the three of um swords so whatever problems you have had as you know caused a lot of upset anguish a lot of hurt misery but you are now recovering from it in this last year you've got bandages across the heart over there so you're getting over that situation whoever the people that were that were involved in it have now moved away from you because the swords are now fallen away from the heart and you are overcoming that situation right now and you have been focusing a lot in your work and, uh, you know, there might have been some sort of promotion, something that went on. You're learning a lot on the job and you're getting enough money because it seems like, you know, you will get some. Maybe there's a promotion in order for you as well uh, coming in over there because this child is carrying a lot of money over there in their back. So, um, you know, you've got the tools, you're working pretty hard, learning new skills, getting your recognition. But also, and you can see this is like um, a cloak that this person is wearing. So, you know, like a graduation cloak. So maybe whatever you've done, you're going to be promoted to something better. And that is going to bring in new money for you. So what's in your mind is you want to start something new, fresh ideas. You want new inspiration. And it looks like it is coming in for you. That is, well, basically, this is what you're hoping for. Something new, something more abundant and a new change of direction. You can see this river changing path over there. And you want whatever you have to grow to grow into something better. So, uh, you know, you've been having problems sleeping at night with this um, Nine of Swords over here, but you're not conquering it. You are now getting over it. You're fighting your battles. Maybe, you know, um, you feel like there's demons. You are, you know, you're having nightmares and you are, um, you know, having to fight it off. Um, uh, you know, it's keeping you awake at night. So there's a lot of anxiety that and stress involved in your situation around you right now. But don't worry about it because although you're feeling so tired and disempowered right now, there is somebody that's going to come in with this um, Eight of Swords in this deck comes in and cuts the cords, comes in and frees you from the situation. So whatever the problem is, there will be a way out and somebody is going to be there. And if this is a legal situation, this might be a lawyer who comes in and helps you get out of the situation, untangles you from whatever situation you are in, uh, frees you from it. So because they're carrying the sword, I think it might be somebody who is from a legal profession. So you're going to find somebody who's a good lawyer that comes and gets you unstuck from wherever you are in at the moment. Or freeze you from it. So uh, what people see around you is they see the Queen of Cups, somebody who is you know very emotional. You might be a bit moody at this particular moment, uh, since you are going through a lot of stress and anxiety. It, it's it stands to reason that you will be upset and and a bit up, you know crying a lot. Um, you know, but it looks like, uh, you know, you will conquer that because the Queen of Cups, um, even though she gets upset and she's crying a lot, uh, you know, she's able to to um, overcome that situation. And then bottom over here, you can see there's a, sa a sun and a star, or um, the sun and the moon. So, you know, you will come um, out of this darkness into the light and into a new phase, a new situation coming in for you. So something brand new coming in for you that is going to be emotionally fulfilling. Um, it's going to take you out of this misery that you're going through. And you do want to cut the past off. You can see this is the Four of Pentacles. You're hanging a little bit onto the situation, but you realize now that you need to let go of it. You need to cut it off with this um, uh, card coming in over here, the... Uh, the devil, not the devil, the death card coming in and cutting out that old situation. So something, you're hoping that something comes in, uh, something legal maybe, coming in and cutting, because all these are scythes or, or knives or blades coming and cutting out that situation. But you're still clinging on to whatever you have. You're trying to, uh, you're not overspend, keep your money, keep keep whatever values you have, but you have to let go of the past. That has to go, and you have to cut out all that depression that you're going through as well. So going into the future, you've got uh, the two of wands, the ten of rods, and you've got the five of um, cups. So with the two of rods, it seems like somebody is going to be helping you in your work situation because this is about work and ideas, uh, the rods, cards. And whatever idea you have, it's going to get recognition. People think that whatever you've come up with is pretty, um, you know, it's a pretty good idea. Um, so um, there is somebody that's there to support you in whatever you want to do in your work situation. And you will be able to let go of all these burdens. This is 10 of rods, the end of the cycle. You're going to be picking one particular direction in life and moving on, letting go of all the other burdens that you have. It looks like you will get your um, 
you know, you, your abundance is coming in because you can see in the background over here you've got this um, um, castle kind of thing, a home. So you're going to be able to to let go of these burdens and establish yourself. Uh, and, you know, although you're, this person is looking to the future, looking, you know, facing the future, but they've let go of these burdens and they're grabbing onto this one uh, rod. So you will have that support, but you will be able to get through the situation and it will bring you abundance eventually. So as long as you let go of the past, because this is telling you to cut out all of that, cut the people that are not serving you, cut that situation out if it's not serving you, and new people are going to be coming in to help you get forward in life um, and you will be able to get up from the situation. You're still grieving. You're still mourning the past over here. You're still crying about it. But you need to look and focus on the things that you have. You see, this person has got, um, you know, maybe you're feeling like you are drowning and you can't swim. Uh, but there is a bridge over here. There is something. You know, maybe whatever happened to you, your whole life seems to have burnt down. Because if you look at this castle, it seems like everything's up in flames. There's lots of clouds somebody's drowning over there so you're feeling like you know you um have lost control of the situation you're not in charge and you're very miserable but you need to focus on these two cups that are left standing so whatever is left behind after everything was removed from your um this thing uh your uh, removed from you whatever you lost from you you need to focus on what is left behind and that is how you're going to get to move forward that's going to give you um the hope of moving forward it's going to give you um a reason to live to move forward so you need to focus on what is left um so it looks like whatever legal situation you are facing right now with this justice card uh and you've got the ace of cups coming in you are going to be um you know it's going to go in your favor so uh, try not to be too depressed about things things are going to go in your favor and the first card you've got is the queen of fire and it says, stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. So you need to start acting with confidence and know that everything is not lost. Uh, you know, you will uh, come out of this. Uh, and um, you have a, lot, have a lot of inner strength and you will be able to cope with this. So you've got the hermit card spending a lot of time in quiet meditation, spiritual toxics, um, spiritual teachings and self-discovery. So, you know, you are probably going and reflecting on whatever's gone on in the past and what you've learned from it. And you are spending a lot of time alone. You might be doing some studying, uh, I always say with the hermit card, but it looks like you're spending a lot of time by yourself. Something happened that caused you to be very distressed uh, and very miserable, but you will, you will conquer it. And it says, open your heart and mind to those around you, trustworthy and heartfelt advice, charity work. So you've got the king of water coming in as the final card. So somebody is going to be there to support you emotionally and get you through the situation. So it looks like legally you will come through it. Um, and there will be somebody there to help you get over the situation. You are still very miserable with this queen of cups, quite depressed. And also with this five of cups feeling like, you know, you've lost everything, but you haven't lost everything. You've still got these few cups over here, these two cups left over here, and you will be able to get through the situation. Just know that whatever's happened is past now. Cut that situation out, drop your wands, drop those re responsibilities and burdens that you were carrying and move forward. You've got, to ha you've got help coming in for you. And somebody will come and cut you out of the situation, get you out of here. So there is help coming in for you.